Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy! Welcome back to more Pokémon Platinum! Last time, we began our challenge against the Sinnoh League's Elite Four! Had a bumpy but still successful battle with Eren, and a downright smooth battle against Bertha! As smooth as the rocks in this room. Actually, they're quite jagged. Never mind. Bad analogy! This time, we'll continue our challenge and move on to our third opponent! Let's hope that things go as well as they did before! And look who it is! Just waiting for the time that we would see him. Yo, Trina! You had me counting the days on my fingers waiting for you to come! Man, even the game feels the need to chew me out over my video delays. <laughs> I heard from Volkner what you did in Sunny Shore. You managed to light a fire in that guy's heart again! How could you not expect me to look forward to seeing you in battle? Again, he changes from a rapper to Mirror B. You'll be facing a fire-type Pokémon user with me! Let Flint see how you hot your spirit burns! I remember around the time of the release of this game, I had convinced myself that because Lucas was the default name of the hero and Flint was this guy's name, that they were totally referencing Mother 3 and referencing how they were totally gonna localize it and yada yada yada. What a naive child I was. Flint begins the fight with Houndoom, level 52, dark fire type, early bird for its ability, of all things, and a flash fire. Flamethrower, sludge bomb, dark pulse, and sunny day. I wanted to avoid him getting off that sunny day, so I went for Scythe in hopes of outspeeding it and one-shotting it with Brick Break. Sure enough, I do it. No sunny day for you, good sir. If you can stop that from happening early in the fight, it can save you a lot of grief later on, as that weakens the power of Water-type moves and strengthens the power of Fire-type moves! Oh my god! Oh! oh my god! At least I can buy more Brick Break DMs if I ever need them! We have close combat! I didn't think we would actually learn it! I thought it was level 55 that I got it! Again, I don't look up levels for moves, I just go off of memory, because usually I'm decently accurate, but... Oh man, getting it even earlier than I thought. More than makes up for that long wait for wing attack all that time ago. Oh boy, uh, who do I want to even go for in this fight? Uh, that thing is fast. You know what? I have a plan. Let's go for Vanity. This is really Vanity's League Battles, man. Vanity has been easily the most instrumental member of our team thus far. Rapidash is level 53, fire type, run away for its ability. Great choice on that Pokemon Master, sir. Flare Blitz, Solar Beam, Bounce, and Sunny Day. My hope is that it will not use Sunny Day. I was hoping to draw it out and use that Solar Beam on the first turn, because sometimes they make questionable decisions and are a little bit wonky in that aspect. Um, if it did go for the sunny day and be able to get off the solar beam in one turn, my plan was just simply to switch out to, um, Acrobat because it quad resists solar beam. So that would make it an easy switch. And besides, Acrobat hasn't done any fighting for us up to this point, I don't think. Oh, I think it did against Flint. Yeah, it took out Heracross. What am I saying? It was really good at what it did, so I'm sorry, Acrobat. I didn't mean to belittle your, um, usefulness. You've been a very good member of my team. I've been very proud of you. Cross Poison, I'm pretty sure, is about the best damage output that we're going to get. I can hope that this will somehow do half of its health. I don't have the Toxic Plate equipped anymore because I went for that Flying type. Oh, no. Come on. Knock yourself out with a Recoil. Acrobat, take one for the team. Take a lot of damage so that it'll knock itself out with a Recoil. Oh! <laughs> it lives! That's awesome. Acrobat, you are rocking it. Vanity is rocking it, too, at level 55. Dang, strongest team member. Okay, who's coming out next? Mag Mortar. Ooh. Uh huh. Okay. Got to think a little bit carefully about this one. I think I'm gonna try Scythe here. Not for any particular type advantage, because I clearly don't have one, but we'll do it anyway. Mag Mortar is level 57. We're getting into the big guns here. Literally, he just fired his arm cannon at us. That custom Pokeball animation is awesome. Fire type, flame body for its ability, holding a citrus berry with the moves flamethrower, thunderbolt, solar beam, and hyper beam. Basically, I'm just hoping that I can take a solar beam to the face right here, get off some good damage. Oh, bad time for a critical. I think I might use a potion after that one. Be my first hyper potion use of the Elite Four. Yeah, yeah, I think it's I think it's justified. Besides, I can follow up with a close combat, and I'm sure it'll be able to do enough damage, especially considering I get stabbed with it. You could do, uh, if you could do something stupid and do that hyper beam right about now, that would be about the most amazing thing in the world. There we go, healing item number one on this fight. A 
as our HP scrolls up very slowly, building dramatic tension for what is going to happen next. Thunderbolt. Accurate. Can't blame me for that much, especially when I was that low on health. Don't paralyze me, please. Thank you. Sunlight faded. That is endlessly good news. I think I'm going to go for the Psycho Cut just to be on the safe side because I can. His flamethrower is no longer being powered up by the sun. He doesn't have solar beams, so... Or, he doesn't have solar beams. He doesn't have sunny days, so we can't power up that solar beam to hit every turn anymore. I think we're pretty good here. Unfortunately, unless this crits, I'm not going to be able to knock him out because I don't have Vacuum Wave anymore to be priority in this situation. I guess I might as well go for the close combat. Yeah, he went for the full restore. Maybe I should have done Psycho Cut now that I'm thinking more about it, but hey, we'll try it. Maybe with a little bit of luck, the move that doesn't have the high critical hit ratio will get helped by that Razor Claw. Did it? Oh! The one time I have wished that I had Vacuum Wave after unlearning it. It'd be nice to get a no knockout victory against him, but I'm not going to use Scythe at any later point in this fight. I think I'm good. Who to go for next? Idolin has Shadow Sneak, and he didn't use a healing item right there. Well, actually, no, never mind. What am I saying? Of course he didn't use a healing item right there. Shadow Sneak. There it goes. Go to level 53 if someone other than Vanity finally gets a level up. And then Flareon. Hmm. I think Vanity is just the smart choice here. I could go for Bodhi and do Earthquake, considering Flareon doesn't have that good of a special attack stat, but I'll be on the safe side. Flareon is level 55, fire type, flash fire for its ability with the moves Overheat, Giga Impact, Quick Attack, and Will-O-Wisp. This is not a horrible Flareon, I have to say. Giving it Giga Impact is a little bit dangerous and gives that 130 attack stat something to do. It's not something that I recommend you teach your own Flareon, of course, but hey, it's not really that bad. Of course, as soon as I say it's not that bad, it uses Will-O-Wisp on a pure special attacker, so make of that what you will. Could have gone for Rain Dance right there, but I saw it better to just kind of go for the kill. And your last Pokemon, Infernape. I'm going to stay in. It is level 55, Fire Fighting type, blaze for its ability with the moves Flare Blitz, Thunder Punch, Mock Punch, and Earthquake. I would be remiss if I didn't mention this now that we have seen his full team. Flint's was a jerk in Diamond and Pearl. Not because he was difficult by any means, but they went extreme with that whole there only being two Fire-type families in uh, the Diamond and Pearl Pokedex. He had an Infernape and a Rapidash. His other Pokemon were Drifblim, Lopunny, and Steelix. Yeah, if that's not a sign that there was something wrong with the Diamond and Pearl Sinnoh decks, I don't know what is. I've said many things to convince you of this up to this point, but I think that is the greatest point of all. Everyone hated Flint back in the day for that reason. I know that I said that I liked the fact that some of the trainers specialized in move types and not Pokemon types, but that was getting a little bit ridiculous, especially with the Elite Four. Anytime you want to tell me how awesome I am, woo, burnt right down to the cinders. Well, that was anticlimactic. Let's heal up. Moving on to the next room. Uh, if I, if I can get into the doorway. <laughs> It's always that thing whenever you play Pokemon games. Can't get in a doorway? You could just let go of the run button, but no one ever wants to do that. It's like admitting defeat. <laughs> ah, you timed your arrival well. I've just finished reading a book, you see. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Lucian. I am a user of Psychic Type. Uh, of, of the Psychic Type. I must say, you have proven yourself to be outstanding by coming this far. They say I am the toughest trainer of the Elite Four. I'm afraid I will have to go all out against you to live up to that reputation. The first of however many bookish types in the Elite Four, it's Lucian. And I think you're seeing a pattern here. I always seem to open up with Gallade. It just has such good type coverage and happens to be good against the first Pokemon that everyone uses. He starts with Mr. Mime, level 53, Psychic type, soundproof for its ability with the moves Psychic, Thunderbolt, Reflect, and Light Screen. This is going to try to set up the screens on you. This was the Pokemon that made me think that having Brick Break on Scythe would be a good idea, but that extra power from uh, close combat was too darn good to pass up. Even if it does get that off, I critical. I was hoping to say that I knocked it out without even needing the critical. Ironically, that critical made me a little bit more uneasy than it would have otherwise. I think we're good. I think we'll stay in. Next up is Espeon. These things are on rapid fire. 
Level 55 Psychic Type, synchronized for its ability. With the moves Psychic, Shadow Ball, Quick Attack, and Signal Beam, you have outsped me. My minus speed nature is doing me no favors in this fight. And my special defense is down, not that it matters because you'll knock me out of the next hit anyway, but hopefully your physical defense is low enough that this will be able to do its job. Does it? An another critical hit! Awesome! Who's next? Bronzong. Ooh, I'm gonna need to switch out for this. Supernova. I was able to rely on you last time. Let's see if you can hold that up right when I really need you. Bronzong is annoying. <laughs> okay, seriously, it's level 54, Steel Psychic type, Levitate for its ability with the move Psychic, Gyro Ball, Earthquake, and Calm Mind. If this thing gets off too many Calm Minds, it can be devastating. Knock it out with all you've got, make sure it gets no chance to set up. Even if you're using a slightly inaccurate move, it might be for the best if you can knock it out that much quicker. Oh, burn! Burn! Makes it sound like I did a sick burn with how I was like, oh, burn! <laughs> My better judgment is telling me not to go for the fire blast two turns in a row, but I'm gonna do it. Supernova, you might just be my little princess yet. You, you, maybe those words that I said about vanity taking that title away from you made you get your butt in gear. Maybe that kicked your butt a little bit and made you want to redeem yourself. Glade. Hmm. Let's, uh, let's, let's have Idolin. Glade. This is also getting tough. Is. Level 59. Psychic Fighting Type, Steadfast for its ability. As you would expect with anyone's strongest Pokemon, it's holding a Citrus Berry. Has the moves Drain Punch, Psycho Cut, Leaf Blade, and Stone Edge. Nothing has a type advantage against Eidolon. It's definitely faster than me. Let's go for the Payback. Everything on it is damaging, so I had no reason not to go for Eidolon with the Payback. That's another one of the reasons why I thought I would teach it. So let's go. Should be normally effective, but wow. That's potentially awkward. I'm gonna go for the Shadow Sneak. It's 80 power after being multiplied by two, plus same type attack bonus. Okay, yeah, that's a lot better. Getting off your Citrus Berry. Even if Idolin can't quite deal with you, I think I should still be okay. Unless, of course, you get your critical hit and your Gallade. Stranger things have happened, considering I've gotten two in a row on mine. Shadow Sneak once again. Just soften that up for something else to get the KO. I'm feeling Acrobat, personally. Or, oh, I thought I critted there for just a moment. That's a little bit worrying, because he might be in range to use a healing item, and he hasn't used one yet, so this might spell trouble for Acrobat if I can't do enough damage. It has Steadfast, so I don't want to go for my Air Slash. That would be downright dangerous if I got that off. So let's just go for the safe wing attack. Sure enough, he goes for the full restore. Can't say I'm overly surprised. Acrobat with that Sky Plate. Please do over half of his HP now that his Reflect is gone. Yes! That's what I like to see. One more hit, and that does it. And now you are down to your last Pokemon, good sir. You seem to be out of options. I've even grown to level 53, awaiting its arrival. I shouldn't get too cocky. It's Alakazam. It's level 56. Uh, actually, let's wait on that just a moment. I think I want to switch... It's probably faster than Scythe. I'll stay in, even though I'm weak to its Psychic attacks. Level 56, Psychic type, synchronized for its ability. With the move Psychic, Energy Ball, Focus Blast, and Recover. It's Alakazam! I don't need to say that this is potentially dangerous. Staying in, going for x Scissor, hoping for an easy knockout, despite the odds of what the types tell me. Just gotta wait and see what happens here. Nope, no Acrobat Bulk. It can only carry you so far when you're up against an Alakazam. Scythe, uh, let's try, let's, yeah, let's try Supernova. I have that return. It doesn't have Reflect Up anymore. I've said that like three times now. Let's go for it. Oh. Did we just win because a slightly inaccurate move missed Supernova? We did! Poetry, simply poetry. I don't know. Maybe there's hope for Supernova after all. I see. You getting past the three before me was no fluke. Your power is real. Congratulations. You've now beaten the Elite Four. However, that doesn't mean that you're done with the Pokemon League. 
There remains the champion. I should warn you, the champion is far stronger than the Elite Four. Now go on, step through the doorway to your final battle. Next time on Pokemon Platinum, we head through that door. See you guys then.